Hey, this is Telman Knudsen with StartRunning.com, and this this is uh, Telman's breathing tips for running. So there are a lot of different opinions out there on how you should breathe when you run, and I've found a few to be very helpful. First of all, and most importantly, do whatever is comfortable. All these other techniques and tips and tactics, in my opinion, are total crap if you're not comfortable with how you're how you're breathing when you're running. Um, I personally when I'm running fast, tend to breathe mostly through my mouth because I can get a lot more oxygen in and a lot more oxygen out much more quickly. However, there are some cool ways that you can train with breathing in order to increase your performance and, and enhance it. I've uh, one, one thing that you'll find is as soon as you switch to a more meditative style of breathing, an in through the nose, out through the mouth kind of style, you will you, you can't get as much air in through your nose and what, what that gives you is a much, much stronger workout. So if you're looking to amplify your workout without necessarily running faster or without running on more difficult terrain, one quick and easy way to do that is by in through the nose, out through the mouth. Boom. If you really want to turn up your workout, close your mouth and go in through the nose and out through the nose. Now when I find that I'm doing ultra distance running, running at a 10 to 12 minute pace, for you know, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 or more miles, or you're just slowly running along or, or doing say 15 miles every day at a, at a slow pace, like I'm training to run across the country right now. Um, you can find more about that at runtelmanrun.com. Uh, I, I, I pretty much only breathe through my nose while I'm doing long, long distance because I'm going slow enough that that's comfortable and it just happens naturally. Um, the other thing that I've been doing a lot with that engages my core on a much higher level is belly breathing, where, where in through the nose, you know, inhale into your belly, actually, actually extending and, and, and pushing out your, your abdominal muscles and, and your belly, and then, and then when you breathe out, really engaging your core and activating it. And I've found that that helps really circulate things, really helps with your energy levels, and all that kind of stuff. So. Number one, it's comfort. Number two, I, I recommend that you use breathing variations in order to increase the level of difficulty of your training. Hope this helps. Startrunning.com